Happy to have Bill's defensive tackle, Kyle Pecco, in studio with us. Just added to the 53-man roster yesterday. Kyle, uh, thanks for coming in. Congratulations. Thanks for having me. Thank you. It has to be a good feeling, right? You've done this before with Denver, but to yes, get sir. on the 53-man is a step forward for Definitely. you. Definitely. I'm super excited. Uh, you know, excited for this opportunity to showcase yeah. what I can do. And we saw you out there earlier, and, and uh, we were talking to you in the break that uh, Harry Phillips was out there still yes, helping sir. out with practice, drawing up pass, oh, yeah. uh, pass rush moves and yeah. stuff like that. No. And, and this is I mean, you've been out there throughout mm -hmm. the entire first month. Is there a different – I mean, what, how is it different for you on the practice field now? You, you must be – instead of doing cards, you're exactly. running reps. Yeah, no, it's definitely different for, for me, at least uh, my standpoint – you know, last week was uh, was was uh, you know, getting the offense ready for for the week and uh, for our opponent. And this week, it's I'm kind of uh, it's my turn to get ready for yeah, the week. So right. uh, you know, definitely tables have turned, but I'm excited to get out there. What were you getting from uh, Harrison Phillips as he watched and kind of worked with you for the most? most yeah, part? so obviously I'll, I'll be nose three, and he's got experience at both. So um, he's out there kind of helping me read read the keys and uh, you know what their tendencies are and what they like to do. So I'm. Uh, he's just out there helping as much right. as he can. Is it, doesn't he need downtime with his knee? I mean, I was surprised. <laughs> he's upright. He's standing there. He wasn't running around or anything, but he looked like he was fairly active. No, my guy's. Uh, he wants to be out there. You know, injuries are tough and they happen. But yeah. Harry is is a special guy, and he's he's going to be out there as much as he can, no matter what. Your position is kind of the thankless job at that front four, right? Can you talk about that? How you approach it, and what your mindset is to play that uh, defensive tackle spot? Yeah, you know, I I, per I personally enjoy it. It's uh, like you said, you thankless, but. Um, you know, we free up the, the linebackers, and, uh, you know, it's not very glorious, but uh, it's fun for me. I get to get in there. That's where, you know, it starts up front for us at the D-line. You know, we're tack defense, so I just like getting after it against how, the offense. How do you get the opponents, the other offensive line, to uh, pay attention to you? Do you have to be quick or strong, all of the above? How do you get I, them to focus on I think on definitely you? all of the above. Uh, quickness helps. I think at my position, you know, I'm. they say I'm a smaller D-tackle, so I, I feel like my quickness – and speed off the ball is, is a is a help for me. What kind of an important game, division game coming in for your first time, and also it's the defending world champions. Uh, but it is a home game. We talked about you were there for the environment last week, and it'll be sure. it'll be every bit of that this week. It's kind of got to be a plus for you personally to come back on a week where it's a big important game. Plus you're at home. Yeah, no, definitely. I'm I'm super excited about it. Uh, like you said, the Patriots division division game and. Uh, we got to get after it, man. Bring it to them, and uh, you, we got to defend our turf. So, yeah. you know, it's, it's going to be a big game. With Bill's defensive tackle, Kyle Pecco, he's been in the practice squad here for more than a year now on the 53-man roster. And a couple of years ago, you came out of Oregon State. You just had one year of, of playing at Oregon State, huh? Yes, sir. Yeah. How did you manage to make the roster out there in Denver a couple of years? Uh, shoot, I had a pretty good senior year, my one year I had, and uh, I had right after the draft, actually in the fifth round, I got called saying that they have a spot open. And in the seventh round, they were going to draft me or a punter. Huh. And the seventh round came, and they ended up drafting a punter. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but right after uh, the draft, I'd gotten calls from a couple teams, and Denver was the most, you know, aggressive to get me in. I, I wonder why they call guys in the middle of the draft saying, hey, we might yeah. draft you. And then they don't. I mean, don't you feel like not taking the call when they call you later? <laughs> like, hey, you said you're going to draft me, and you didn't. For sure. I, I mean, it's all about opportunity. That's yeah, what it's been for me. Uh, my career has all been about opportunity so you know I, I had to take everyone I had seven um, games played over two seasons with the Broncos right yes sir what'd you get out of those uh I, I'm not a big sass guy I don't know no, oh not stats but just oh. what did you learn <laughs> what did yeah. you learn oh dude, yeah no I had a great I mean we were one of the top defenses the year I played so uh I learned a lot from the guys that were there Derek Wolf you know Von Miller uh we had DeMarcus Ware come in uh I was very fortunate to play with my cousin Domitau Yep, right uh learned a lot from him man he's a you know 13 year vet so very cool experience but uh I think I grow a lot. What's here. it mean? And we, we've talked about it a lot on our show where you got a lot of guys on this defense, most of the starters, they've played in this defense for a while now. Mm -hmm. And certainly the Patriots are that way this week. Uh, what's that mean for, for your guys? And now you being mm -hmm. here in the practice squad all last year, you kind of stepping in, you kind of know what what's the score is. Definitely. Yeah. Having these guys that we have, you know, like the Stars and the Jordan Phillips, um, you know, <coughs> Lorenzo me. Alexander, uh, it's it's great to pick their brains and you know get their view of uh, kind of how to how to read offenses and you know their work ethic and I, I, it's just a blessing to be able to work with them. 
We're with the Kyle Pecco, Bills defensive lineman, just added to the active roster uh, yesterday. Um, this happened this summer, very unfortunate. But you, first of all, you've been married for four or five years, right? Five years, yeah. Yes, yeah. Sir. But this summer, uh, your wife, Juliana, right? Yes, sir. Tell us that story. She got sick? Yeah, so uh, after our daughter was born, um, April 1st, you know, end of the month, she felt a little lump on her neck. Uh, obviously didn't think it was anything too serious, but she asked the doctor about it. And the doctor said, wait, wait a bit, wait a month. Uh, to see if it grows or if it gets smaller. <laughs> we waited, and uh, she had went up, uh, ended up getting rechecked, and it didn't get bigger, but it didn't get smaller. So the doctor, you know, ordered a test on it uh, to get a biopsy. And uh, the end of June, uh, the results came back, and it ended up being uh, Hodgkin's lymphoma oh, and man. stage 3. And, oh, uh, yeah, just that month was definitely pretty Pretty crazy, uh, yeah. For for my wife ultimately, but uh, with, with for two our kids, whole, two young family. kids, right? Just, yeah, she just given birth. She did, yeah. <laughs> April first, a couple months right, before yeah. she yeah, got like diagnosed. Two months before she got yes, diagnosed, sir. she yes, had sir. just had a baby. Yeah. So did I? Did you just say that under your breath? When was your brand anniversary? Uh, my was, an was it yesterday? You said you got five years ago yesterday. No, no, no. no. Oh, December okay, will right. be my anniversary. Okay, yeah, all right. Yeah. It's, it's coming, coming up. Six. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. Don't miss that. So your wife gets diagnosed, and then a month later, you you're. You got to report to training camp. Yes, sir. Trying yeah. to win a spot on this roster. Yeah, no, it was uh, it was pretty hectic. I didn't know what to think or what to do. Um, my wife was gonna deal with this, but what was I gonna do? Was I gonna head back? Was I gonna stay home? Uh, I ended up talking to the coaches and the coaching staff. You know, extended my stay home to be there yeah. with her for a uh, first round of chemo. Uh, you know, thank, thanks to them, like that that kind of gave me the the clarity I needed to be with my wife for yeah. for that beginning right. and my wife was actually the one that was like you need to get out of here you need yeah. to go back so um, you were late to camp i was that. yeah yeah so i i got a day a day off yeah. um usually you come back a couple of days before camp and right i did and i so I, I came back i think the 26th on the 26th yeah. and uh yeah, no. It's one of those life comes at you fast. Yeah. Man. So you got a ba new baby. Mm -hmm. Now your wife stayed in Southern California because yes, your sir. family, her family, you got a big support crew out there. Bunch of help, yeah. Not so much about the medical attention. It yeah. was about those, the support structure. No, definitely, yeah. And she's still there. She is, yeah. So, <clears throat> yeah, she's getting a, a ton of help. Uh, all my family's been super helpful, both, both sides, hers and mine, um, with the little kids and, you know, also keeping us both positive. Keeping right. her, you know, on the path and the course that she needed and me as well to be here and do what I have to do for them. You know, uh, that story, as unfortunate as it was and, and still is, I guess, but it was kind of a cool story at the early part of training camp, how your, your teammates responded, how your teammates and coaches handled that, right? T tell sure. us a little bit about that when you finally did arrive at St. John Fisher. I mean, this whole group has been super supportive uh, from the coaching staff to, you know, the guys in the office and all the players. Uh, I was a little nervous coming back because... I didn't want to be away, but, you know, ultimately these guys are my family as well. So they uh, open arms, you know, supported me through it all, all my family. Even Bill's Mafia, you know, was showing nothing but love and prayers for us. So uh, it's real special. So this, you know, this thing we talk about culture all the time, you're kind of a tangible proof of that, where they sure. came through for you. Like, for sure. Does it mean anything more to you, walking out the tunnel, getting a chance maybe to play this weekend for – the guys in this locker room and this coaching staff and this sure. fan base that well, it's got to be a little, really extra little something something no, in there for right? sure for sure yeah i mean i mean walking out of any tunnel being able to play is, is very right. special but sure. yeah from the support i've gotten you know i feel like you know i got bills bills mafia on my back and i gotta show out for them so i'm i'm excited you got a lot of people behind you i was reading about i guess tomorrow night that bills women's association is going to get together and <coughs> pilates, pilates class yeah, yeah. that's yeah. cool all right so, yeah it's super awesome is it like that in Denver, or is there something different going on here? I think it's, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I feel a lot closer to these guys right now just because of the, I think, the situation I went through and how they responded. Um, but, uh, you know, I got love for, for everyone. That's cool. <laughs> That's and, great. It, and everything's trending in the right direction with your wife. Yes, sir. Yes, That's sir. Good. She's doing good. Uh, are they coming up for a game at some point? This might be the week to do it. <laughs> uh, actually, so actually, last week we had planned a trip for my son and my sister. So my son and my sister will be up here tomorrow night, um, but my wife is still not uh, able to travel just yet, but uh, hopefully soon at the end of the year. Uh, how old's your son? Uh, my son's four years old. Okay, he'll love yeah. it here. Yeah, Get on the active roster, you can afford a plane ticket. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> right exactly. For sure. There you go. Yeah. Kyle, awesome, good luck man. to you. Thank, thank you, you guys. for coming on with Appreciate us. Congratulations on the 53 now, and uh, we look forward to watching you play. Thanks. Thank you, thank you. Right. Kyle Pecco, the Bills uh, defensive tackle, is elevated to the active roster.